Hello and welcome back. If you made it to my third installment, that means we need to get a little personal and talk about your number. So, do you know what your number is? Or have you lost track? We all have a number, and sometimes we tend to exaggerate that number depending on who we're talking to. Guilty as charged. Ever been asked what your number was on the first date? Well, this guy has. How about after three months of dating? Hey, we've all been there. Sometimes it's good to know the number of the person you're dating so that you're well informed of what you're getting yourself into. Those crazy college years get people every time. And that number carries some consequences. Consequences that can linger around for a while unless you get experts to help you fix it. And in some extreme cases, those consequences could stay with you forever. I'm talking about your FICO score. That's right, your credit, the real C word. Your FICO scores can have a huge impact on your home purchase process by affecting the interest rates you can get, the insurance premiums you receive, and ultimately what programs you can qualify for. Did you know that if you and your spouse apply for a home loan and your spouse has a lower credit, we have to use the lower of the two scores? Surprising, huh? And if you're going with an FHA loan, even if your spouse isn't on the loan, we still have to use the debts of your spouse. And if one of those scores is below the minimum, guess what? No, no, no. No loan for you. And lighting a candle to the Vergen de Maria won't help you either. As if dating wasn't hard enough, now we gotta start worrying about credit scores? So you're asking, Ralph, what makes up my credit score? Hey, well, I'm glad you asked. Your credit score is broken down into five different categories and each category has a different weight to it. 35% of your score is dependent on your actual credit history. 30% of the amounts you currently owe, 15% of the length of your credit history, 10% based on any new credit you open up, and the final 10% coming from miscellaneous credit stuff. I've seen it make home purchases fall through because of last minute bad credit purchase decisions. So next time you want to open up a Nordstrom's credit card to buy those Jimmy Choo shoes or those Louis Vuittons that everyone's wearing on TV, let's think about what impact it will have on your credit and most importantly, your borrowability. And instead of asking that hot Tinder date what he or she drives, maybe we should start asking them what their latest FICO score was last quarter. Just a thought. Want me to cover a topic you have questions about during the home purchase process? Shoot me a DM or leave a little comment below. That should do it for today. Stay tuned for my next show where I touch on title insurance and how it plays a huge part in your closing costs. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and until next time.